Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So unfortunately, once again, we've had a couple of issues with recent updates that have rolled out for Windows 11 and Windows 10. And for Windows 11 22H2, the update that would have caused the issue, if we just head over to our update history quickly, was this update that rolled out near the end of last month. So this was last month's optional update for Windows 11 22H2, KB5027303. And as I mentioned earlier today, Windows 11 22H2 has not yet received the July 2023 optional update. Windows 10 and Windows 11 21H2 have. And for Windows 10, the update that is causing the issues and did cause the issues was KB5028244, which I did post on earlier today. And for the original release of Windows 11 21H2, the update was KB5028245 and I also posted on that earlier today. Now, according to Microsoft's known issues health dashboard page, um, the issue is that some apps might fail to playback, record or capture video. And this was opened um, yesterday in my region on the 25th of July and was also resolved on the 25th of July. So that was the same day that Microsoft rolled out the two updates as mentioned for Windows 10 version 22H2 and Windows 11 21H2. Now, this is how Microsoft describes the issue. They say after installing KB5027303, so that would be this update for Windows 11 22H2 as mentioned, and then any later updates. So that would be the two updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 that rolled out yesterday. Just to repeat those again for Windows 10 5028244 and Windows 11 21H2 5028245. So those are the updates that are causing the issue where some apps might fail to playback, record or capture video when using the WVC1 codec. So that's also known as VC1. And certain cameras or webcams might also fail to work if they use the WVC1 codec by default. So that's the issue. Now, if you were experiencing that issue after these updates were rolled out, the good news is that Microsoft say they have resolved the issue using known issue rollback, KRR for short. Now, if you don't know what a known issue rollback is, it's nothing you have to do from your side. You don't have to download and install another update. And Microsoft describes it as, and I'm quoting, a capability that can quickly return an impacted device back to product productive use if an issue arises during a Windows update. So that's what a known issue does and it does that all behind the scenes as mentioned you don't have to install another update and uh, um, just please note that Microsoft does say that it can take up to 24 hours for the resolution to propagate so for that known issue to actually take place that ro rollback to take place and um, something you can do um, just to hurry up the, pro the process of rolling back using a known issue rollback is that you can restart your Windows device as I always do suggest. Um, if you are affected by the issue, just restart your device. Don't shut it down, restart your device because that will actually flush and clear the cache and that will hurry up the known issue rollback, which as mentioned is something Microsoft does by, from their side and that will resolve the issue because this is actually now listed as resolved and the same day the issue was opened. And as mentioned, that's for Windows 11, both versions of Windows 11 and also Windows 10 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.